They're big birds with big pouches, and they live at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. In this morning's Wild on Wayne, it's feeding time for the great white pelicans. First, walking up to meet Scooter and Scuttles in the African journey, I saw them on the far end of their pond waiting for breakfast. Will they ever come right up to the fence and greet people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially, uh, they know when feeding time is, and okay. uh, they know the keeper's routines, and uh, they're very active right before they get fed. Scooter, the larger of the two great white pelicans, is male. Scuttles is female. After putting on my gloves and getting a quick fish-tossing lesson from zookeepers, it was feeding time. And they get fed once a day? Uh, they get fed twice a day. We have a combination of cape line and smelt in there. Okay. And this is what they eat. We just toss it out. This is their favorite. Now normally Scuttles and Scooter are fed in the water, but they have both decided to come on land and so I'm getting a chance to feed them right here. Hey! But after downing a few, it didn't take them long to head back to water. Well, right now, uh, Nate is their primary trainer, and okay. uh, he's training them to kind of dive in the water, and so people can actually see, you know, that expandable throat pouch underneath their bill, and and see them uh, just kind of in action uh, fishing. Can't really tell by looking at them, but when we go to catch them up, um, they do have little like razor sharp edges on the sides of their bill. I think pelicans in general are just fascinating because of that expandable throat pouch underneath, and what they do, uh, they can that enables them to scoop up large amounts of fish in the water. Mm -hmm. How big do they get? How old do they live? Uh, well, this is uh, pretty much full grown for these guys. Uh, they are one of the larger pelicans out there. Um, uh, each of these is both around 10 years old. Uh, and, they use, and they can live usually, uh, I would say, late teens, early 20s. And although we never got to see it, their wings can span up to about nine feet. Scooter and Scuttles were too busy eating to show us. Once breakfast was down the hatch, these webbed wonders were ready to start their day greeting visitors in the African journey. And now it's time to announce the winner of our zoo ticket contest. Here's last week's question. What year were miniature donkeys brought to the United States? Devin Spychowski from Ashley is the winner. Devin came up with the correct answer, which is 1929. Congratulations to Devin. Someone from the station will be contacting you. Now here's our new question. What part of a pelican's body do zookeepers think is most fascinating? To enter, simply go to the contest page of Wayne.com under Zoo Ticket Giveaway. I'll announce the winner next Thursday morning. You can also go to Wayne.com to check out all of the wild on Wayne stories. All right.